What's up guys, welcome back to McLaren Media. So in the last video, you probably saw that I changed the clutch on my Ford Fiesta Mark VI ZTEC S TDCI. And in today's video, we're gonna be finding out whether or not that clutch change actually worked. Then the night after, I was laying in bed wondering, did I tighten the starter motor bolts down? So I quickly leaped from my bed and went to check and discovered that no, I hadn't tightened the starter motor bolts down. So obviously I had to redo that. But you can't touch the starter motor with the battery connected. Which is when I discovered I'd made the biggest rookie mistake ever. I'd forgotten to reattach the bonnet latch. Guys, I can't actually believe what I've done. After a week and about six days worth of working on this car, trying to replace the clutch, I've put it all back together and I haven't attach the bonnet latch and I can't open the bonnet. Oh, I... what a stupid thing to do. <laughs> but it's all right because I did find a solution. I found that if I could jack the car up, I could ever so slightly take off the actual bonnet latch bolts from inside the car and then slowly pry the front of the bonnet up and reach the other two and actually disconnect the latch completely. And then I was able to open the bonnet and I was able to then retighten the starter boats, but guys, what an absolute rookie mistake. That is the stupidest thing I've ever done. It's just not reattach the bonnet latch. I didn't even need to like take it off to do the clutch change, but I just happened to do it, I think. So yeah, don't be like me. Reattach your bonnet latch before you shut the bonnet down, guys. Otherwise you'll be mucking around in the rain and the mud like I was trying to open it from inside the engine bay. But without further ado, guys, let's go see if that clutch change actually worked. But before we go any further, guys, I just wanted to say that Christmas is coming up real soon. And if you're looking for a gift for the petrol head in your life, then why don't you try checking out my red bubble shop using the link in the description of this video. I have tons of my own designs on here from T-shirts to mugs, stickers and socks. And we all know that everybody loves getting socks at Christmas. And also, if you're ever thinking about buying tools for a gift, any video where I use any kind of tool, I always use, leave a link in the description of the video. So guys, I hope you find that perfect Christmas present for the petrol head in your life, but let's get back to the video. Right guys, so we're here in the Fiesta and we're gonna turn her on for the first time. Now I know she does turn on all right. I had no doubt that the engine would start. Bit lumpy because she's a diesel in the cold, but we're all right with that. No weird noises thus far. Engine seems to be idling all right. I'll just give her a couple of little revs. She's fine. I gotta admit, the guys, the first thing I've noticed is the lack of vibration now that I've replaced that gearbox mount. This car used to vibrate like nobody's business. So that's the first thing I noticed. But really, the thing that was problematic with my car was the clutch pedal was very soft. And I've noticed the first thing I've noticed is extremely stiff clutch pedal, which I think is probably a very good sign. Right guys, so first driver now. Well, as we know, like I said, the clutch plate wasn't the actual problem. It was the slave cylinder and already there's a lot more pressure back in that pedal. That pedal was soft as anything. So I was, I've selected reverse. I'll just run it through all the gears. So one to five are fine. Reverse, crunchy like usual, but it's there. It's in neutral. So let's see, in reverse, up to the bike. Oh, we have a bike guys, all right. Let's see if she goes somewhere. Handbrake off. Well, we're moving, which is a good sign. Engage first. Okay, we're moving forward. Now, I have been told to take it easier for the first sort of couple of hundred miles. So I won't sort of be driving mad we'll just be seeing how she goes but at the moment everything seems to be okay 
Okay, so we're up in the second gear now. Third gear. She seems to be doing all right. There's no knocks and, well, there's the knocks and bangs, but this car is like that. It's like, it is literally like driving on a lot shed, this car. My mum calls it the bone shaker. We're up to third gear and I'm able to put a bit of power down and she's fine. But I'll tell you what, that clutch pedal feels a lot better than it did a month ago. That that clutch pedal was like stepping on air. It had no, no resistance in it. Oh yeah, fourth gear. It, oh, she drives so much better. I can already feel that. Oh, like I said, I'm not going to give her too much. I'm just going to give her the bare minimum just to let her tick by for a couple of hundred miles. Alright guys, I've been driving around for a few a few miles and I'm safe to say she puts down power nicely. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely worked. Um, I am blown away by the fact I have done that changed a clutch on a car with no prior knowledge to doing clutches whatsoever I, that is just something I've learned by watching videos reading guides and just using the knowledge that I've built up over the years working on this channel and also before this channel working on my own cars and guys if I give you any bit of advice it's just Try and do things for yourself. We live in such a throwaway society and there's no need for it because everything can be fixed regardless of what people say. I just think sometimes they're a bit defeatist when they say that, oh, it's too modern, it can't be fixed. It can. I've always said it went together with nuts and bolts. It must come apart with nuts and bolts. So you can use your basic toolkit. And I tell you what, it's the tools that I've built up over the last 10 years of working on cars. And I still buy tools, ones that I need. But being able to do a clutch on the driveway, that is just a feat, that. Because it's not something that a lot of people will go for. I tell you, that clutch kit cost me £180. The clutch, the friction disc, and the pressure plate, sorry, the friction disc, and that slave. £180 kit. It's in there currently, it's working fine. I've done 28 miles now since I changed it and I've got no problems to report. And I'll tell you something, I rang up a local garage and asked them for a, a local quote, how much it would cost to replace that clutch. They said anywhere in the region from 350 to 700 pounds. If it cost me 700 pounds, that's a saving of over 550 pounds I've done for myself. And that I think is why it's more important now to learn about these things than it was 10 years ago because also tools are much more cheaper to buy there's lots of finance deals on tools you can buy a whole garage for less than a thousand pounds and pay it off over a year and then you can work on your own cars and the cost saving is immense i've always thought this the amount of money I've saved working on my cars over the year. And that's what I do on this channel. I'm trying to inspire you guys to do the same. Because there's nothing more... There's just nothing more satisfying than knowing that you did that. And it went back together. And it's fine. You're going to run into problems. I've run into many problems. And there's so much stuff I learned. You learn so much more from the failures in life than you do the winnings. And... Well, I'm, I'm staggered. I am not trained at all. I do not know anything really about a clutch change. I don't know whether there was stuff I did wrong, stuff I could do better next time. It's just, you've just got to do it and learn it because otherwise guys, you're never going to know if you didn't try. restoration build on this car it's on 175,000 miles it's 17 years old 
and I don't know, these days you wouldn't think it. It, it is so tight, this car. It, everything I do to it improves it just a little bit more. And I love driving it. I fell in love with this car because I spent so much time in this car. It's the cheapest thing to run. It's really nice to drive. Yes, it's a bit of a bone shaker, but what old car isn't? The 350Z is a bit of a bone shaker when you actually get going. It's never gonna be modern, but that's what I like about it. It's got character, it's got a story. It's got 175,000 miles worth of memories. And I just don't think you can put a price on that. So guys, that's a clutch change. I've done it, I'm amazed. If anything, I want you to do your own. If you have any problems with it, do not hesitate to leave me comments, drop me messages, and I can walk you through certain bits. If you didn't understand, I know that clutch change video was a bit messy, but it was hard to film it on my own when I was doing it on my own. But please guys, if you've got any questions about it, don't hesitate to message me. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys and a little update on whether that clutch change actually worked. Please, please, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it so much when I see you guys subscribing to the content. Please don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video guys. Catch you later.